Alright all pro football 2k this is gonna be a long video but there is a lot of good and yeah a little bit of bad in this and uh, I just want to make sure I get everything everything covered so as you can see I've got my Bucks team here's a uh, good old Josh Freeman and back here is going to be uh, Cadillac Williams and over here is gonna be Ernest Graham and as you can see I'm lined up at my goal line um, and obviously uh, pass protection is gonna be critical here uh, and the defense very well should and, and does bring blitzing linebackers so what we've got here is a very good pocket now I do want to go ahead and point out I have no idea what this guy's doing he has no one to block and he helps you know stay in the pocket formation which is good but he kind of runs himself out of the play and allows this linebacker to just like walk through which isn't cool and isn't really good so what you've got here is both my halfback and my fullback stay in a block, and I understand that some people are probably going to say, well, why wouldn't they come over and help these linemen that are about to lose their assignment? Well, I really wouldn't want them to do that, and realistically they shouldn't either because I'm obviously not going to stand in my own end zone and wait to get sacked for a safety. I'm going to move up, and there is room to move up in the pocket as long as these two linebackers are taken care of. And we'll take a look as Ernest Graham comes up and takes care of that one and Carnot Williams comes up and takes care of that one while I throw the ball. Now, what's going on over here is prime wide receiver defensive back jostling and in interaction. You can see this is Antonio Bryant, and what happens is I get jammed at the line of scrimmage, and unlike in some of my other videos, the jam actually works. You can see he alters my route a, a good bit. He's just got his hand on my chest, and you can see I'm trying to push off and we're just kind of stalemated, kind of holding hands a little bit, to be honest with you. And it really does alter my route, I can tell you that, because I know the route that I picked. And you can see I get a take off, and again, here's the defensive back that doesn't know my route better than I do. I kind of stutter my feet down. He goes to plant a little later, and yeah, there's a little bit of sliding, but I actually think he actually slips more than anything else, given how awkward his body positioning gets here. And you can see my wide receiver makes a great adjustment to catch this ball and we'll go ahead and highlight that there's not much motion shifting here uh, in catching this ball. Let me see if we can get on the ball. There's not a lot of, uh, of motion shift by either the player or the ball for this catch to happen. You see there it comes up across the middle and it goes into his hands and now you're going to see a great example of a double hit tackle. See if I can't get off that and show you a little bit better angle than that. Now you see that the safety is moving forward uh, toward me, and the cornerback that I just beat obviously has position. These guys are going to come in at about the same angle. I'm still trying to get my balance, get turned around. I don't have full access to all my speed and agility at this point. And you can see I come in and I get hit from the side. And you can see again here, there's no real... I'm already falling that way, to be honest with you. There's no real morphing or shifting for this tackle to take place. Now, because the cornerback's kind of equally out of position, I'm allowed to try to run through this, but the safety comes in, and he's not going to have any of that. And he puts his shoulder into my chest and knocks me and the cornerback down. So we're going to go ahead and play this just at speed from this wide receiver. Do a few angles here since it's kind of a short video, shorter than I expected at this point. And that is really a very good representation of simulation football when you talk about wide receiver, defensive back interactions, safety, double hit tackling, and uh, as I showed in the beginning, for the most part, very good pass protection and awareness from my halfback and my fullback to come up and stop linebackers, and also very good defensive play calling to bring blitzers when you're backed up in your own end zone.